Trustees, July 1st, 2024. Uh, I will entertain a motion to adopt minutes of June 17th. I, I move that we adopt those minutes. Second. Any corrections, changes? I said my I mean, there were none. No. Yes, I don't care. Yeah. Right, I, I said to you. Could we call a roll? It's been moved and seconded to adopt the minutes of the June 17th, 2024 meeting as presented. Uh, Ms. Moyer? Yes. Mr. Winter? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Motion is approved. Motion to approve payment of bills totaling $25,866.31. Are there any corrections to this? Uh, there should be. There's about 4,000 or so worth of road expenses are that are in there. Did you see that fire number? Is that, is that just because of low staffing and people who are now? That, yeah. And, and some of the higher earning people left? Mm -hmm. Well, I can read what's here. We'll vote on it, but we can approve what is presented. Okay. And then we can see. amend it at another meeting. Uh, Motion to approve payment of bills totaling $25,866.31 from the general fund, $8,254.27. From cemetery, $1,800.98. From fire, $15,602.06. From road, $209. And move, unless we have any questions from Gina now. Well, first, cool. you would move it and then we can discuss it. I move that we pay the bills. The decision yeah. came up. Do you second? I second. Thank you. I'm sorry. And we have a question. Okay. The question came up that the road department doesn't seem to have been paid. You mean at all? Oh, you mean out of this? Yes. Um, well, I hadn't processed their checks at the time of this, so I, I, which I'm going to do after the meeting, so I didn't know if that went on this one ahead of time, or if it goes the next time after I process their checks. It would go on this one. Okay. But that's why I was wasn't clear on whether it was retroactive or right ahead. Yeah. So okay. okay. I mean, I can add that in. Okay, okay Dan, okay. you can sleep well tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and that's probably true of the general fund with the. Mm -hmm. Um, so we could, yeah, all the we could vote on this and then vote a second time at the next meeting. Add in those. If we knew the number, technically it should be done right now. If you can, time sheets are on my desk, but I haven't run them. Oh. So I don't know the exact number. But well, as far as like after taxes, mm -hmm. we could vote on this later in the meeting. Yeah. Let's just vote on it later. The next one. Let's just make it an ancillary vote. I don't know. Well, so we'll vote on this, and then we can have an ancillary motion. Okay. Later. And another meeting. Call the roll, please. It's been moved and seconded to approve payment of bills in the amount of twenty-five thousand eight hundred and sixty-six dollars and thirty-one cents as presented. Mr. Mayor? Yes. Mr. Mitchell? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. The motion is approved. Uh, we have correspondence. Are these all items that someone thought we should discuss? And there's a few more. Um, not that we should discuss, but... Um, we, don't let, we don't need to list all our correspondence. Uh, um, I'm interested in... Could you get that clear right now? Because I came here and we listed a lot of things. I don't feel that the correspondence was uh, from the good old days, before email and on and on. Uh, and I don't see the need for it to be listed at all well, on our agenda. One, 
one reason why it might be helpful is so that we, we all are sure that we're, we're seeing things and that we've, like... Okay. For example, I, I'd like to say something about the new requirements for training for the fraud and theft and stuff for... Or Lindsay Workman from Vesper asking to be, be at a July 15th meeting or... Um, the, um, yeah, the, the, tra time. the training for the, the well, art with Good point. So, None of those have I noticed. So if we don't put them on here, I just feel like we're amorphous. And I read something, I think maybe the others read it. I don't know. So that's why I... So for, you, first of all, I'm following the tradition that was here when I came in. Mm -hmm. Secondly, it, I think it serves a purpose for us, even though it's not necessary. Okay. So you have a list on the back. <coughs> you hand wrote. A list of today. items that I might want to. Those are emails that came in today. So I was going to put some of those into new business. Okay, what, what would you like to add to new business? Um, uh, other states' new requirements for training. Um, Treasury.gov email and Vesper request for being put on our July 15th agenda. Let's move to put it under new business. We'll put all of those under new business. And then of these that are here, um, yeah, the first two aren't that important if you guys, you know, that's, I was looking at the National Opioid Settlement, which I guess we're part of that. We're, we're getting funds July 15th, 1431 dollars. Is that how you guys read it? Yeah, but because it's a small amount of money, I don't know where the threshold is. It automatically goes to the county. It doesn't, it doesn't, oh, we don't see it. I don't know. I just saw us in a big mm -hmm. Miami Township in a big thing, so mm -hmm. it might be taken up by the county. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, it, it all has to be used for opiate avoidance or whatever use the whatever word they use um, anyway so it's probably best that the county has it unless we're gonna do some opiate work. That's it. That's it. Okay, well we will we have three new items for new new business. So are, are we deciding that we want correspondence on our, our agenda? Let me make a stab at that when we got a chance. Go ahead. Um, I, I realize I'm the one a few months ago or whatever that suggested we not use the, you know, just the paper correspondence and we'll do that. But then after a while, I got to thinking back, back when we were in our old fire station, and back when we were on our old email service, and back when everything came to trustee to find attention, got met, all of that correspondence went to one place, unless you were using the personal email. Which we don't do anymore. But we don't do anymore, but we did at the time, so a, a lot of that correspondence never made it to the correspondence table, but that's pretty much been taken care of. With the exception of now that everybody, including me, I, I'm, I'm almost as bad as anybody else, they don't, and I understand why, they, they, they don't forward their email correspondence to the to the trustees of Miami Township, so everybody can see them, because that means you have to you have to remember to attach <laughs> you attach that every time you get something, or every time you send something. You mean copy us? Yeah. So it will go. So everybody can see what's going on, like we used to see what's going on, mm -hmm. unless we're using our own email. Now, that would have been somewhat alleviated, you know, if, if we did all of those things, but it would be nice, you know, if, if we did print out everything that came in, and that might be able to click on some, you know, um, question that we might bring up that leads to the correspondence that's not there. You know, it might be a thread to other, other correspondence about other issues. Yeah. S something with Jen Huber or not to say her, uh, but just general stuff that only the person who's sending it out and asking the question and getting the answer is seeing, is seeing uh, unless they forward it to us. And I'm not saying that's, I mean, that's a problem, but it's not, you know, it's, it's hard to remember to do that. 
But if it, if, uh, if it gets printed out. Then okay, let's go easy. back to our previous system. Um, I, I'd like to emphasize that when I, when, I, when I have something that I know you guys need to know, like if I get a response from Jen Huber, I copy you guys. If I find some information, I copy you. If, if, if the YSDC sends me a packet or sends me messages that um, we're meeting someplace else this week or any number of things that would just fill up your mailbox, I don't copy you. But I try hard when I get responses to just put trust put trustees in there. Yeah, I mean, you mentioned the YSDC thing, and, and we beat that to death at our last meeting about how I wasn't included on that on that correspondence. Well, that was that was a process thing because because as she pointed out, are we going to stay on the topic of this? Well, yeah, that was correspondence. Yeah. Okay. Lisa was following. Normally, she, she sends to the board of the village, and that gets distributed. The, the, the um, board president of the village and gets distributed. Since we don't have a process to tell her, she thought send it to our, our president, our chair, and it would be distributed. And we don't have a process for that. But I'm not the, re aware the reason what this was, but the reason I got it was because I want on, on a rep. So that was I think that was a glitch in the matrix there um, in the system. I, I don't think you're, but I didn't notice that you weren't included because I saw a whole bunch of names. Okay, but I, I think that was a special, special case. Okay, uh, next meeting we'll return to uh, listing all correspondence. Okay. I thought, in my mind, that's what I did this this week. Um, it was a weird couple of weeks. Everybody must be on vacation, but most of the correspondence were the invoices or mm -hmm. us talking back and forth about what we need to get for the auditor or how things work, mm -hmm. and who's doing what. So this, this before those three came in today, this was all we really had this week. Okay. Thanks, public, for being patient with that. Anything from the public that you would like to add to the agenda? Thank you, no. Mr. Public. <laughs> uh, our department report. Um, <clears throat> since last meeting, we had 24 EMS calls, uh, 16 fire, and we received uh, mutual aid uh, for three EMS and three fire, and we didn't have any requests during that period of time. Uh, Pride Parade was this weekend. Um, we had absolutely no problems whatsoever in terms of incidents or any anything like that. And I'm sure there were at least a solid 5,000 in, in town for it. Brush 81 is back in service. A couple of little minor things that, that need to get tweaked on it, but outside of that, it's, it's back in service. Uh, we are, I'm waiting to hear back potentially on changes for 4th of July plans because the weather is not going to be very cooperative on Wednesday and Thursday. Um, so that impacts the, the village show and that also impacts um, the Chappelle show on the 5th that was planned out at the pavilion. Um, it was intending on having fireworks then. So I won't know anything probably. Um, I mean, we'll probably have to make a decision in another day or so. Um, preventative maintenance on apparatus bay doors. I'm waiting for one uh, one price to come back. Um, but we're uh, we're definitely due for for PM work on those doors. Should be around fifteen eight eighteen hundred bucks or so on that. Uh, we did start cleaning exterior windows on the building. Um, uh, of course, based on the estimate of what the manufacturer of the chemical for cleaning the windows is, it was woefully inadequate. So we have to buy a lot more than what we did. Um, so once we get those, we'll get that started again. And that's actually all I have. Brief. Any questions? I see emails. How is the transition to get people from into? The pension, like that. There's uh, a lot of great, that's a great question. So, our physicals and that are done through Mercy Health. 
Uh, we used to go to Green Memorial and they canceled their occupational health. Um, and Mercy Health has absolutely been completely inundated. Um, so I have been in contact with um, the, the sort of lead intake person um, who's uh, responsible for all this and said, I've got guys that are scheduled like, towards the end of July. So have we started the new schedule or we're just not in it yet? Or we're not even starting the new schedule until there's official? No, we went, we went ahead and started that and that's in full effect now. Um, and starting the next pay period is when they'll be on a 212 work period because we ended up, you know, we they started that last week, so they were still on a 106 hour work period. But that will now change. Um, and, uh, you know, computer systems all set up for them to be in place and fire. So, we should start seeing the deductions come out properly and, and all that. And George is fully in this system now. Mm -hmm. And we're doing Actually, we're doing it proper by her by getting the getting like social security. Yeah. 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 So everybody that the three are all now set up in UAN and they're all authorized by police and fire. The the there is a final bit uh, this doesn't apply to Georgia because she's completely approved, but the final approval for those guys for pension is uh, is their physical stuff. Okay, so we're, we're, we're in uh, good shape there. Sounds great. Thanks for explaining that. Yep. Anything else? Uh, you intend to participate in the July 4th parade? Yes. Hmm. What about the inclement weather? Same umbrellas. <laughs> Umbrella, yeah. Okay, and I just we'll roll we'll our windows discuss up. Discuss off camera if the trustees got to get in the back of the dump truck or anything. <laughs> <laughs> that, I mean, it was a rude awakening last year. Is that happening again? <laughs> yeah, I mean, not depending on the weather. Okay. It's, okay. Unless you okay. find a pope mobile, it's a <laughs> <laughs> Careful what you wish for. <laughs> we might make that happen. No, I, 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 that was fun. I, I just didn't know if it, that's what you're talking. Long tradition. Very long. Yeah. Okay. As long as I can remember. Did you have any volunteers come forward for Chappelle's? Uh, yeah. Armor? Yeah, I've got three at least each night. Uh, mm -hmm. The the year before we had, we actually had six. Um, I will probably do a little more arm twisting and and get a couple of additional people, but I definitely won't be able to get six. Um, there's just no way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'll be out for part of the time. So at minimum, I'll be out for the fireworks inspection. Um, but, you know, we should be good. Their shows are always phenomenally long, uh, run. Mm -hmm. They do an off, very professional job. Yeah, they do. Yeah. That's what That's all I have. All right. Cemetery and roads. Well, since the last meeting, we had two burials in Clifton with full burials. We're getting the cemetery ready for the holiday. Well, should be done more. And we're going to try to get this done. Mm -hmm. And we had to clean a tree up this morning that fell in the Clifton Cemetery over the weekend. Any idea what it fell? Saturday night, probably. Oh, the tree falls in the cemetery. Nobody here. Did you see it? Yes. Well, I saw it yesterday. Three o'clock, I think we take it three about three. Yeah. And I got a text after that around six to my text me to get a tree mm -hmm. down. We took care of it this morning. Where did you put it? We did. Yeah. What'd you cut it with? Chainsaw. A big one? Mm -hmm. It's a big one. Well, it's a big one. Mm -hmm. We know what it is. I hope you didn't do it, but I'm... No, I loaded it with the ball pit. No, I mean, so, cut it up. Yeah. Okay. Brandon, can start that thing? Oh. <laughs> Brandon, <laughs> stop. <laughs> I don't know what the boy eats, but... Yeah, he's, come skin, he's skinny strong. Yeah, good he's good skinny strong. strong. He's skinny strong. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's pretty strong for the big thing. That's all I have to do that thing. Uh, about road. We 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 just one second. Okay, hurry. Uh, I want to let you know that uh, Dan Brandon uh, 
cut the new exit drive for the Oak Grove Cemetery uh, last week. And it's now waiting to have gravel put on it, uh, you know, get a base started. And there'll probably be more, more of that in the future, but you gotta get started somewhere. So um, I think that will be great for as these um, burials start to pick up to be able to get people out. Get back there. It would be enjoy taking hers back. It's a long way to pull body on that wagon in yeah. the front. Mm -hmm. So this will help. Yeah. So we get gravel after this week, sometime next week, we'll get some gravel in there. This week, that kind of out of question. So that's that's good news. You thought it was like a horseshoe? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it, you go in and you come out, and all out. So we're going. Mm -hmm. Uh, Dan's good. Good. doing well at his cemetery school, his software school. Um, He's been getting the major yes, professor major 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 university. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> MU. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Um, that is, Chris is teaching Dan how to right. do all the record keeping. And he's progressing very, very well. Thanks. Just about, we're just about to where he doesn't need me to be here. He can come in and, and look up graves and look up occupants, and those are the sorts of things he needs to do. But uh, we'll do a little more practice. And, yeah, it's about. So he doesn't forget it in between burials. <laughs> yeah. He's doing a good job. Thank you. Mm -hmm, thank you. Road department? Yes, road department. Okay, uh, tomorrow morning I'm going to help assist Bath Township with the culprit. So, three, three, four hours I'll do that. And then try to mow this, to mow this tomorrow afternoon. I need the weather so, in the middle. Let's do it. And then next week, hopefully, we can start getting the trimming the way out and hit the ditches again. We need to be trimming and some mowing them. That's when we do that after the holiday. Well, I'm getting a road tour yesterday, and I they decided, they needed. I just said I'm not going to write down these ones anymore. I could just I did everything. I did everything. It's it's been a few weeks since. Yeah. Right? So we'll get on it. We'll get it all knocked out. Right? And it's amazing. I just the amount of trimming that's that, that looks and like that it's being comes out in like you know you go this week and then you come back the following week. Yeah. How much it really grows out? Yeah. We'll take care of it. What we do. Anything for me? Um, that's fine. I have nothing. I have a resolution on the agenda. Yes. Oh, the paving. I did notice Danny that you did get the training on the Jaws of Life done on the vehicles out in the garage. Yeah, their next thing is um, uh, car fire stuff. They're going to work over again? Yeah. Um, I wonder when they were going. Uh, it's it's next month. Um, I forget the dates, and then we'll get a new but, uh, but yeah, so what they're referring to is there are two junk cars that we've stored and recently were used in. Um, what do you call them? Jaws of life. V yeah, vehicle extrication. Yeah, vehicle <coughs> extrication. So the cars are now. I, I took pictures just dramatically chopped up, mm -hmm. broken glass, and, uh, and now you're going to use it for fire? Mm -hmm. So you're not done? Mm -hmm. Nope, they'll mm -hmm. load them up with uh, straw and like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's good to get a couple of different trainings out of them. And is there any gas in the tanks? Yeah. Yeah, that all has to be empty and then you have and then actually fill it up as best you can with water. So that suppresses the vapors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It anyway, I was startled when I saw these water. chopped up yeah. cars. Not by no. yeah. Yeah. And we have the chopper. Mm -hmm. The jaws? Yeah, yeah we, have the we have two sets. We have a set that's <laughs> older than dirt, and then we have another set that's 
20 years old. Yeah. And they are younger yeah. than like everything else. Oh, yes, they are. But yeah, they're, they're going to, uh, a new set now is pushing about $60,000. Mm -hmm. Well, I have at least one friend who's alive because of those. Yeah, they're a big deal. Earlier, mm -hmm. Do we need truck for the break? Mm -hmm. So we have uh, we have to move to uh, agree to the prices that the county engineers come up with for our share of the 2024 collective payment. Uh, on agreement between, I'm going to read this and then vote on it as a resolution. Agreement between the Green County Engineer and Miami Township Board of Trustees. The Green County Engineer and the Miami Township Board of Trustees, here and after referred to as the engineer and the trustees, respectively, agree to the following. Whereas the trustees desire to participate with the engineer in the competitive bid contract for the 2024 collective paving, as bid by the Green County Engineer, and whereas all work within the trustees' jurisdiction shall be inspected by the trustees, and all questions which may arise as to quality and acceptability of materials, of, of materials furnished, work performed, the rate of progress, the interpretation of the specifications, and the acceptable fulfillment of the contract on the part of the contractor will be decided by the trustees. And whereas the contractor will invoice the contractor will invoice the trustees directly for the actual quantities of work performed, all line item extras and or negotiated extra work in accordance with Ohio Revised Code 5575.05. And whereas the engineer shall withhold all retainage for the total collective paving bid for 2024, paving bid for 2024 bidding contract from the county's share of the work, and the engineer will ensure that the work has been performed in accordance with the township's instructions prior to releasing the retainage. The engineer will ensure the work has been performed in accordance with the township's instructions. Therefore, the acceptance of this agreement is indicated by the signatures below. What would our resolution number be? Um, should be 2024-26. I move for adoption of resolution 2024-26. I second. Well, I wonder if this was written by AI. Anyway. Possibly. Any discussion? No. Okay. Uh, call the roll, please. Uh, it's been moved and seconded to adopt resolution 2024 26, uh, the 2024 paving contract agreement with the Green County Engineer. Is that sufficient for the title? Uh, Mr. Mucci? Yes. Ms. Meyer? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. The resolution is adopted. Anything else from Cemetery Road? Uh, fiscal officer is present. Yes. Report. Hi. Hello. Yeah. Um, let's see what I put on here. Um, <coughs> so transitions are an ongoing work in progress. Um, I have little questions that keep coming up on points of clarification, including just um, the approval of bills. Are we approving bills I'm about to write? Are we approving bills I wrote since our last meeting we approved? Um, so it sounds like it's the, the latter. It's, As I understand it, we're not supposed to sign a check that you haven't voted on. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. This is like from 1803. Okay. <laughs> but do you sign 
Uh, no uh, sense. Don't, don't leave that off. Well, that's also my next point is that I'm doing, trying to do more and more things on EFT, which makes it a lot smoother. It's an expedited process. Checks get lost in the mail. Um, and a lot of places seem to prefer going to EFTs as well, and they have it in their billing options. Um, so I would still include that when you're approving bills, but you're not physically signing the check for those. Right. Um, so do I do that after I, I do that? We're supposed to vote before it gets spent. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, that right? But to be practical, it doesn't always work that way. Okay. We also have blanket purchase orders. Right. Um, uh, excuse me, you're right. Which encompass a lot of this, most of it. Uh, probably all of it. Whole so then, then what I just said is not. <laughs> okay. So as long as you're within the time period that these blank purchase orders are effective, then we do that each. We do that for um, temporary appropriations. We sign 150 blank purchase orders, and we do that for permanent appropriations. And we're going to see another bunch of them after we do this budget and get it signed. Um, no, I'm sorry, we did the program was April, but we signed the thick of like the purchase right and they cover virtually anything for the year. Okay, that's helpful. Thank you. Um, so EFTs, um, and and then also just ongoing talks about what reports, I know that there are just like some, some ones that were always done, I'm not sure if those are the reports that are the most helpful for information that you have. I certainly the ones you produce for the meeting. Yeah, yeah, sorry, thank you. That, that is what I'm I also think it's it's helpful for you at the very least to know the balance of what's in the bank, which I'm going to start including, if that works for you, at the first meeting every month so that you always know those two account statuses. Thank um, you. Great. So Margaret in, in the past has provided us with the appropriation status, fund status, fund status and revenue status. And those are the ones that you still find the most helpful? Mm -hmm. Are there any other ones that you're thinking of? That I don't know. I don't happen to know what they are. I, I got said this many times. UAN says there are eight eight reports that you should get at every meeting, but I, I, they're probably might vary by township and what yeah, they're. Yeah, the township is probably more complicated than we are, and it might be a little excessive. But I, I don't know. I don't know what I don't know. Okay. Um, I've read through those eight reports, and nothing's struck me as, man, we're really missing out on this. Give you more paperwork. If you right. Want. Okay. Uh, voicemail. Um, I think there's voicemails on there that I have not heard because I don't have the passcode, and it's probably still the previous FO's voice. So um, I don't know who. Uh, is that a Denny thing? Okay. Technology. So you're um, not getting voicemail to your. No. Okay. Well, so I, as I understand it, it's, it's all set up still for Margaret to access. Yeah, I mean, I think there's a past, I tried to enter it, and I don't know how to get to it. And I, the name still says Margaret, so I assume things need to be changed. <coughs> um, I will get you that information and re get the password reset tomorrow. Okay, great, thank you. Um, where are we with the orders? So I signed the extension online. Is it in the Sunshine questionnaire? I just sent uh, what I believe is completed Sunshine uh, questionnaire to trustees. Okay. It's, it's labeled Draft Sunshine Compliance. Why did you send it to us? So to in case you had extra information that okay. I So if they don't, then we can just forward that on, forward that on to them. Make sure you can open the attachments that I... Okay. I just did it half an hour ago. So. so who's checking that? Should that be me that makes sure that? Yes. But also, I think yeah. I, I don't know because I wasn't here in 22 and 23 when they're doing the audit. So you should probably both sign off on whatever it says, and then I can forward it on to the. Yeah, and, well, and, and we said, have probably. I, I think it's all covered. I've talked with both of you about okay. it, but just in case. All right. So I'll make sure it gets to that today and tomorrow. Okay. Um, and yeah, so we, Danny and I did work, and we have everybody now with the new firefighter changes um, in UAN, except that Georgia was hired, or not hired, but um, promoted <coughs> months before, right around the same time that we transitioned. So hers wasn't changed in UAN, so we're going to have some back OPNF money that we'll have to pay for the paychecks that happened in those two months, and she will also. 
Um, so OPNF is calculating that for me based off of those paychecks, and then they'll let us know that that'll be a larger lump sum because they had that. Likewise, does she do we contact Social Security and, and take that back? Not to come get Oh, uh -oh. didn't even think about it. Otherwise, Good Mark, question. otherwise George is paying both, and so are we. Yeah. Well, my experience with Social Security is they will get it done, but it can be tedious. And that by calling the senior office, sometimes that makes it go fast. Yeah, never sometimes. Done, never dealt. How do we know the exact date when that should happen? Because there's physicals, and there's this, and there's scheduling. How do we know the exact date by which? Yeah. Off the top of my head, I can't tell you, but I have it, I have it in her file. Okay. I think it might have been like April 10th, but I don't know if the physical, I think she was all ready mm -hmm. to go on April 10th. Yeah, I just have like to it. look at the pay period and how the pay period is lying. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's easy to figure out. The um, point on the social security. Yeah, I guess, uh, sorry, I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, so that maybe she gets some of that back day and that would help mm -hmm. her slash us pay the, the lump sum we're going to owe to that. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, I think that was... Well, then we want to also uh, make public the hearing date for next year's budget. Yes. Um, so, what is the process? So, I, I thought, until I talked to Marilyn, that we were publishing the entire budget. And <laughs> I thought, we're going to take the entire news of that. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll probably not do the entire one. <laughs> okay. So we're just doing an ad similar to, I guess, what they would have done a year ago. Yeah. Just get a hold of Matt. Okay. And ask him to redo the thing, change the you know, change the date and the name from Mark to you, and run it again. Okay. And it's uh, just that they can reach out if they have anything, and you'll formally adopt something on the next, on the next meeting? Mm -hmm. Okay. So the hearing... They can... It, it'll say on the... But they can request... To review the budget. budget. Okay, and the hearing date will be July fifteenth. Okay. Okay. And our hearing date. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was thinking. I don't know how they've done it before. To say we have them for review at the at the office is is a real. If somebody really wanted to get to us, it'd be. Or maybe if you if you want to review it, email. Yeah, that's what I think I'll do. I'll put my email there. Yeah. Okay. This, well, they just stop. And most time the days they stop by, they're not going to see the budget. Yeah. That's not the real point for a century. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, so I'll come back to Matt. Already right, talk about 2024. Okay. Right. Matt and the auditors. Um, anything else I have on mind? There's one thing that I hesitate to bring up, but I will. Um, I believe that one time Margaret, and I think you worked with her, Denny, when, when the school tax was. Um, that our crazy school tax was one percent and is now two percent. I don't, I don't believe that we're taking two percent out of people's checks. So, but just so I want to check that because um, yeah, we that will be a rude awakening because um, it, it's it's an extra one percent off your gross pay. So if you we, make fifty thousand, that's we did do that. We do do that. And uh -huh. you, you did do that. I okay, check it out. That would be uh -huh. all when I calculate. It's not two percent, but. <sighs> Might want to review that. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure when it. That would be firefighters to, to everybody. And it's everybody. Us. It's everybody. Nobody gets nobody gets out of the snow tax. So if anybody still one and a half percent, that's around us. That's it's two percent. There is one percent is all that's around two percent. So that would be thirty. Hopefully my math was wrong and everything's fine. I hope your math is wrong. All right. Well, I can usually just check the new employees and see it'll say one and a half or two. So it I'll, will. It will show the percentage. I think so. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll look. Yeah. I'm going to make a motion that we uh, make available to the public our 2025 budget as of uh, whatever the date is on Friday. This anyway. coming Friday? Yeah. It's the 5th. Okay. That's the July 5th. Yeah. For when the news comes out. Mm -hmm. And it will be just, it will be available for review until the 15th when they vote on it mm -hmm. for 10 days by. I law. So the motion is. You have that, Cindy? So did second. you? I'll, I'll second. Okay. Any other discussion? 
call the roll, please. The next good move and second to make the 2025 budget available to the public beginning July 5th uh, for review prior to the budget hearing July 15th. Uh, Mr. Mushroom. Yes. Ms. Moore. Yes. Mr. Hoff. Yes. Motion is adopted. Zoning inspectors report. Okay, well, uh, since last meeting, I've only issued one fence permit. Um, I have another one coming that's not here yet. And um, I had to go to regional planning to sign a mylar with some transferring of land. It was something that was already in practice. They just divide it off like a little point something acre to give access and they just resurveyed their property made it all one so really cleaned it up so that was nice um the other things i have are um i don't know if you guys saw the email from stephanie from the engineer's office about the storm water um thing uh, no mr Stormwater. It's it's about um, requirements for for stormwater runoff with building yeah when building um, she came up with a little checklist that she said we could include on our website um, I I think it's important to share that but I don't know that it's necessary on our website because it goes into play when one or more acres are going to be um, developed or disturbed or so I'll leave that up to you guys if you want to. So those are the county's standards and yeah. they don't have to be incorporated into our zoning. Yeah, no. no. we just we need to help make people aware of that. Uh, it's, I, I, I went to the presentation on this. Um, you see very likely you've noticed at different construction sites um, fabric that's supposed to catch runoff mud and and so various procedures like that are required if you have one acre or more uh, that's in construction it's, it's not completely new it's just uh, being more thoroughly uh, enforced yeah. so i have that document if you want to share it on your website I don't know if you guys got it also, or I could email it to you. We used to have a little brochure. You have a little stack up. Oh, yeah. Cool. I think she's moved on from that. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> so, um, oh, you can make, email it to me and I can. Okay, sure. Yeah. Well, might well put it up there. Why not? I just wanted to ask if when you say share it on the website, you mean there's a reference and you can click on it and go look at it, or it means you want to display a whole set of rules as a part of the website or just a click to a reference file i'm, I'm just curious. it's just a pdf page so probably just a click to a reference. okay i just want to understand that. yeah it's just a pdf page that she created um it's obvious that it comes from the engineer's office but we can put it on there just to make people aware probably in our zoning subset that's probably the yeah idea. Yeah. Um, okay, so there's that. So last, well, uh, last month on June 15th, we had the Zoning Commission met um, regarding the uh, small solar and the temporary use languages. Um, it went well. Um, they have set a public hearing to uh, um, review and make a recommendation for the small solar that's going to be July 16th so look for that and by small solar they mean personal solar yeah not personal not the below 50 yeah. megawatts so um, I, I, I expect they'll make a recommendation at that meeting I don't think that will be tabled and, and so then that will be coming um, to you guys next for a public hearing that you'll you'll hold for that and then whatever you decide then it'll become well if you decide to adopt or modify it'll be in place in 30 days after that um which leads me to another phone call i think i talked to chris last week was it 
Hopefully so. Um, someone else was just curious. There's a, there's just a lot of people around asking questions about solar at that meeting. There were some people here, and um, this gentleman called from another state asking about our solar. Um, so I told him we were in the process of it, um, and that once it was adopted, it, it would be in place. That was really, I guess, all he needed to know. So I don't know if they're just making surveys or if they're, <laughs> I don't know what, what his questions were for, but yeah, so there's that. Um, the Yellow Springs News got the public notice wrong. Instead of zoning commission, they put Board of Zoning Appeals. Hey, that's what I so um, a couple, yeah, I, I've already spoke to them. He's um, going to rerun it. When does the newspaper come? Friday. So, so Friday. Friday. Yeah. So if anyone asks, it's not a board of zoning appeals meeting. It's the zoning commission. Um, so that's taken care of. Um, oh, and I met Chuck um, at that meeting who does the minutes. He he is going to because he, I didn't get to talk to him before that meeting. I would have said you know that I do the minutes and he would have been thrilled. Uh, but I didn't get to meet him before that. So he came, he's doing the minutes for that meeting, and then he's, he's going to re-talk. <laughs> so I'll just be doing the minutes. So he will probably meet Kate one more time. Is this just waiting? Yeah. Yes. Okay. And then that's it. So. Did you know him before? No. I never met him. Because he's, I mean, he's from Clark County. Oh. And he's, he owns what he's a He's an attorney, but he's oh, a family farm owner. Oh, yeah. uh, quite a resource. Okay. A lot of context and background. Very good. It was very nice guy. But yeah, he's thrilled to not have to do that. He said, so will I get like a, how do I know? I have absolutely no idea. I assume um, he will have those minutes to me before the July 16th meeting. I don't know if he submits something. Um, <laughs> Oh, that then, I know, then I know to Pam. Okay. Receiver's invoice. Okay. Um, so that's, that's taken care. Um, and because of that meeting, um, so they, we, they talked about the temporary uses and what to do with that a lot. Um, regional planning just sort of said, eh. They, they tabled it, basically sent it back and said, make this a little better. Um, and said consider conditional uses. So uh, there was a lengthy conversation, nothing was decided. So what um, we did, I spent some time taking language from other, um, other townships in Green County, which are almost all the same. There's a couple that are different. And so I've shared that with with the board um, they were going to kind of do their own little research and then after the public hearing on july 16th they'll discuss that temporary use thing again so yeah because what they ran into was the county recommended a possible conditional use and when we went they went through the conversation it got to if it was conditional use and it was going through the bza has have we changed any it's it's right back where we started from where yeah everything's coming before the yeah. bza um, yeah, so I feel like they're kind of starting from scratch on that, honestly. Um, yeah. I, I, I don't know what the, the goal was at the beginning of changing the language, but um, I do kind of feel like we're starting from scratch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, then we're also um, going to be looking at the, um, I don't know what they're going to call it. Utility scale solar under 50 megawatts utility. would be my guess. There you go. Utility scale. Just the solar under 50 megawatts. Utility bill, meaning not for personal use right. or what, yeah. or for property use, but to sell. Yeah. So we have um, a couple of townships, different townships language to review. Um, the Ohio Township Association has some sample language, and then regional planning also has some sample language to look at. So. Um, I think we'll discuss that at the July 16th meeting, too. And then, um, so that's what we've been doing. That's been keeping us busy, really. Um, that's all. 
for us, I just have our little um, other different things. Like I need to figure out how to print. <laughs> I can't print anything here. So, and did my voicemail get sent to the? I was actually going to ask you that after the meeting. Okay, so, I'll look. Have you gotten anything? Not yet. Okay. But I'll check. Love I'll you. I'll check that. Um, and then I wondered if you would consider putting um, like a lockbox here for people to drop off like um, checks or uh, like I had a hard time meeting up with a, a contractor last week because you know he doesn't know how long he's going to be at this site and then that site and, and um, so he had a mailing uh, check but if we had a drop box that's locked they could just drop it off say hey I left it there and then I could pick it up so I don't know if you guys want to we lost it's um, no, you can you maybe it would be in the entry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We have one at Seattle. Yeah, one the matchup that works out great. Yeah, uh, the trustees use it too. Um, just cause, you know, there's not always someone here. Um, and then we, there's a few keys around and you can check it. Um, so someone just needs to drop off an invoice or something. So I don't know if you want to I hope there's very few keys around if they're putting cash in the box. Yeah. True. <laughs> and we have a lot of people who, you know, who do so with the application of the cash. Yeah. 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 I think that in Sierra will just put this box or I have to. Uh, I would think we could just go ahead without even yeah. voting on it. Yeah. A okay. minor, like yeah. minor furniture or something. Yeah. Where do you get a lockbox? Or a one. You know how to get one. Where do you get a lockbox? Oh. Well, we'll ask to see the things. Lots of things. For see if it's there. See, it's not like they're there for so long. You can get them just like so, off the steep. Can you put it up? Who put that up? You put that up? Yeah. That'd be great. Yeah, probably. Yeah. That'd so be in a little like way, like before they put, put it in. Yeah, I think yeah, that'd, that'd just be put it in a spot where then it'd be protected. And, okay. uh, uh, the, the printing issue is yeah, with us for quite a while. Yeah. I talked to my Becca too, and it, it's like there's no reason we can't have network printing no there is not so There's and not. then they said they had received any requests and I, I i was i talked to them about possibly um i think it's a lot to ask denny with all his responsibilities as a fire chief to be our our de facto and they said they could they could give us an offer where they won't even charge us a fee unless we need something so i said like to get you had told me that this this printer yeah, couldn't, couldn't couldn't be mm -hmm. networked, and he said it could. And, and then we had talked about when Denise wanted it to be networked to the, the mm -hmm. big copy. He said he never reserved a good request for that. So I was just wondering if we could take something off your plate and deal with. Well, they the got time. what I found out what was happening. Is a lot of times I was I the way I was requesting putting work orders in were emailing them. And I didn't know they actually have a formal way of putting work orders in on their website, which I was just informed of like probably three weeks ago. Um, and the advantage of that is, at least for them, it's better tracking. So any of their internal staff can always look at it. I don't know that the person who puts the work order in can do it, but at least there's more accountability. Because what Mike had told me is that if he, if he receives an email request and he's on another project, or drive off, he's one of the big employees. He's our, he's our go-to. So I, I guess as an employee, I, I'd like to, not, I'm not an employee, I'm sorry, as, a, I, as an electrician, I'd like to call an IT person without having to go to the fire chief. Yes, just because I would, it's, it's not I really, would prefer that. It's not really proper, and, and then I, I'm in the awkward position if, I was, if we hired an IT person, I'd say, what, where's my stuff, what am I doing? Whereas, I don't want to badger the fire chief when he's yeah. supposed to be doing fire chief stuff. Well, and realistically, it's, it is easy for something to fall off my plate if we get too busy or and whatever's it's... going on. Well, then let's make that shift. Okay, I'll call um, Rebecca. And they, they said, you know, it's so easy, we wouldn't even charge you a monthly fee or anything. Just if you needed something, we'd charge you by the hour in travel fees, which would be one mile. So. Mm -hmm. He said he would make it, you know, affordable service. So I'm glad that came up. The lockbox, our mailbox is a lock. I mean, I have to lock. I have to unlock it to get the mail. 
So could they just put it in there, like the mail carrier? Yeah, probably. That, that technically is illegal. Yeah. Okay. 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 It's a it's a point. Point. Only the post. Only the post office and and. Even with that, yeah. a locked one. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Even when it's locked. It's like if I went to your house and put something in your mailbox, that technically is yeah, violating right. federal law. I do that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, camera trouble. Yeah, I'm yeah. <laughs> No, I'm sorry, not on Tom Douglas. I mean Gina Gunderford. Oh, not the <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think we have to settle the, the uh, lockbox in our meeting. We'll deal with it. Yeah, I was just offering that because I just thought of it. But I, just, I just don't even know where you get a lot, but I don't know. You know. Yeah, 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 or Lowe's. I'll look I don't, okay. Wouldn't have to be great. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, and then the only other thing I have is August 5th, I will not be here. I'll be at the fair. What are you going to be doing at the fair? Well, my my youngest yes. is still in 4-H, so. Mine is Cakes and oh. chickens. Cakes and chickens? We'll be in the rabbit. Oh, okay, yeah. So, um, that and I'm a story child. So, yeah. <laughs> so well, well, I'll be busy that week. What, what, what is your, I just feel like for it. last name is also Smith? Uh -huh. Okay. Well, and, and yeah. For Smith and the chicken tender. Yeah. Oh, there, I mean, yeah, good luck finding it. Yeah. <laughs> right, three rabbits in my backyard, can I take them? To the <laughs> you have three rabbits in your backyard? <laughs> Well, if anyone's interested in purchasing chickens. Okay. Oh, oh, the wild, we have wild rabbits. Yeah. We, we, we actually have three rabbits that I'm there, but I'm surprised that you don't think. So, <laughs> you won't be here on August 5th. Can you send us a written report? Yeah, I will. In fact, um, most likely I will have the um, July 16th Zoning Commission recommendation. So I'll have a, a resolution and I'll just get that to you before their meeting on the 5th. And so you can go ahead and um, set a public hearing date for that. And that is all I have today. Oh, except this. When you were talking about the EFTs um, in Spring Valley, we did this too, like kind of transitioned over. And a little recommendation by the auditor's office was. Um, they recommended that the trustees actually review. So she would give us a list of the EFTs that were paid mm -hmm. on top of a stack of bills, and she they recommended that we initial each bill because you're not signing a check. Okay, we, we do that now. Oh, perfect. Then yeah. you're way ahead of us. Wait, we, <laughs> I guess we were not doing that. Sign the EFT <laughs> mm -hmm. along with Gina. Yeah. Well, but if she, start, if she, she starts paying done. bills online, She's saying we've done it for the like staff that are EFT, but I'm going to try to do more actual oh, bills. Oh, I see. Bills. 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 Yeah, for bills. Bills. They, they just recommended that we actually initial the actual bills. So she'll yeah. give us oh. the list of what was paid online with the stack of bills that were online. So we had to go through each one. For those wondering how we do so, our so the process, we ended up signing a check. Right? Yeah. So. It was a lot, but. You mean, but it was a lump sum. You didn't have to do each individual. No, no. Thing. The auditor said do each individual. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, once we got in the swing of it, it, it was okay. But, um, it wasn't so hard. I mean, you don't have to. It was a recommendation. Well, I, of course, now, and it would be nice to in the future, we can review um, those bills before we sign them, in case there's a question or there's an inaccuracy or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So are you saying that's really not possible because we wouldn't see them until? Um, I'm not sure. No, you could, you could do it beforehand. They just recommended that the trustees initialed off on them. Mm -hmm. So you could do it before they uh -huh. were paid. Okay. Mm -hmm. Didn't have to be after. Uh -huh. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. I feel like we did both. Otherwise, how do we know it would have been? Anything else for the zoning inspector? Yeah, or from the zoning inspector. New business. What were the items again that you well we got adding that yours first. Right. But let's add yours also. Um, please read again. 
Ohio Auditors Training, uh, Treasury.gov, and the Vesper Request for 715. Thank you, Cynthia. Okay, then let's uh, deal first with the, uh, as you folks may recall, uh, we entered into a contract last year for organization assessment, and we've been back and forth. Uh, we got the draft. Um, we voted already once to cancel the contract. Uh, in consultation with uh, our attorneys, uh, they said that, well, I won't give all the details of what they said, but they, they said just go ahead and settle for you know, partial payment. Uh, and the bill we received was for $10,900. Uh, the original contract was for 25000 and they, they had detail like $793. Uh, they completed it almost a year later, even though they said it would be done within 120 days. Uh, and our attorney has said that if we acknowledge the letter of June 14th from the uh, Ohio Fire Chiefs Association that we had the contract with. Uh, if we acknowledge the letter in our payment of 10900 that she would consider that a complete, that would sort of close it. Uh, we don't need to have another formal resolution canceling the contract. So I would entertain a motion to pay $10,900 to the Ohio Fire Chiefs Association for uh, partial um, organizational assessment. So moved. Second. Any other discussion? Uh, since apparently it was my idea to have this done, um, I feel responsible for the delay. Uh, I wish it hadn't happened. I had high hopes that this was going to be a, a real uh, learning experience for us and the transition from volunteer to full time. But um, I couldn't think of anybody better to do it than the Part Chief Association who offered this uh, service. With, and it was run by long-term higher echelon people, chiefs and assistant chiefs, and, and many years of experience of uh, both volunteer and I was, uh, as I say, I was very disappointed that it was. It, it just continually took so much, took so much time to do it. Um, I, I just, you know, it's just so unprofessional to take that kind of time and this. And they and they were offering themselves as you know the professional you know, to do this. Uh, anyway, I don't know what happened, but it's, you know, I guess it's behind us now. Yeah, I. That's a bad taste. I, I'm very disappointed as well. Um, you know, Colin and I put a great deal of effort into this project. You know, especially on the front end many weeks of work collecting data and, and reporting back to them. Um, you know, I, I know that our specific circumstance has been discussed within the executive board of the OFCA um, and hopefully they do not experience a repeat of what our experience was. Because it's very frustrating. Um, and costly. And yeah, I was just going to say, and a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah. For the time we put in, they should have paid us. <laughs> True. Yeah. Well, I'll say that the phone conversations I've 
add in the sort of closing it up. Uh, we're polite, professional. I, I didn't ask for any explanations. But, um, so I think this will close the book. Frank, do you want to say something? Um, it's just as a naive person. When you say the lawyer says you must or should acknowledge their letter, does your resolution do that, or do you also have to say something like, we have received a letter from such and such a date, we're acknowledging the terms in the letter, or some other legalese? I just was kind of puzzled about when you said, the attorney suggested that you acknowledge the letter. That, that, that phrasing just sort of just, uh, uh, tripped me up. Yeah, I can understand that. It simply be in response to your letter of June 14th, here is payment. Oh, okay. But it puts on record the letter, and the letter has words saying it's closed. It's over. So once this is voted on, should I go ahead and process this bill? And what category is that? Well, let, we can talk about that after. All right. Been moved and seconded to the contract and service. Um, to pay OFCA for the contract amount um, for partial organizational assessment of $10,900, acknowledging the said letter of June 14, 2024. Uh, Mr. Murphy? Yes. Ms. Mark? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Motion to approve. I have it. Um, auditor training is. Um, I, I just want to make big work. Sure. I just want to say it out loud because, like you said, we don't know who's getting what mail and who reads it. Um, Apparently, the, legisla legisla the le legislature passed um, new requirements. We, we were, this is in addition to our sunshine laws, now we're required for, to do um, new requirements for reporting fraud, theft in office, misuse of funds or misappropriation of funds um, for all elected officials. And I think it includes the enforcement. And po possibly, we have to include Department heads who would handle certain things. So I, I'll read the fine print and see if that um, applies to Denny. Um, current employee, what do we have to do? Yeah, we have to, we have to, tri we tri what's that? I thought it said employees. Employees, employees that are relevant, the ones that are like handling or signing money or working with money and things. Does um, that email list initial Times we have 90 days from July 1st. We have until September 28th to complete it. And then we also have the responsibility um, to let everybody who comes on board to give them that information that they have to do that. And also, what well, we've been looking at in some of our audits where we're supposed to have tracking sheets for things. This, this is another one. They gave a sample tracking sheet where, where anytime somebody turns in something, who, it, it, reporting, it gives reporting requirements, so anybody would have, so a future auditor might say, let me see your list of anything that was reported, and um, we have to have it. So if you look at that, it, it'd probably be, a, imagine a, an Excel spreadsheet that sits on your desk. And we ought, to, and we ought to have something similar for uh, public record requests. Yeah, we should ask for, so. And this, this seems really ad hoc. We, I know we have a lot of work to do with our procedures and our, our, our things that need to be written down, procedures and policies and things, but you gotta start somewhere. Um, Can I re just reference one thing, sorry to interrupt. On the, on the fraud stuff, we do that. At, at the, at the yeah, we, I, I've got a, a fraud statement and they do audit that because um, we've had ours and who've actually had given us we have to give them a list of employees and then they have us pull random files to show that we actually have that in their file. Yeah. Okay. And then I don't know if you saw Lindsay Workman 
wants to, um, from Vesper wants to be on the, I know I brought this up now, but you saw oh, it go ahead. on the agenda. So I guess that doesn't have to, we don't have to say that in this meeting, but she'd like to be on the 15th agenda. And I think where I wrote this down is, it looked like because of the individual emails that it just came to me. But if, if she, if she, if she didn't put trustees, if she, put, if she put Chris and she put Don and she put Marilyn, then I wouldn't know if you guys got it. Did what? you get it? What's her full name? Lindsay Workman. No, I did not. So I'll write her and say, I'm not the chair. Talk to, talk to Don Hollister. Okay, cool. Because she, she might think I'm still a chair because when we started working with them, mm -hmm. I was. And then th this other one we get kicked down the road a little. Um, it's this, I call it slurf. Is that what you call it? It's really. Um, no, I S never called it slurf. S, S L F R F. S L F R F. It's something, 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 slurf. something. It, it's basically funds, and it's ba basically ARPA funds, and um, they have new updates, um, reporting guidance for it. Um, it they do have reporting guidance for obligating the funds. And we finally, after kicking the can down the road or having a stalemate or setting it on the back burner or however you want to say it, that, that day comes, I believe, December 24th. I mean, December 31st of 2024. We have to have funds obligated and there will be, um, I meant for us to be pretty simple, I don't know, because I don't ever see the reporting. Um, but we have to have it all obligated. We have to do whatever we have to do to know what we're going to do with it. And I, I was just wondering when, when I when I see read the emails. I'm going to they have a webinar that's an overview that you might want to look. It's it, they have a webinar um, recorded where you could um, watch or look, look at the slides of what are all the obligation requirements. So these have to be obligated by 2024 and spent by 2025. And it, it seems to be that the practice that that they expect there's, and you've done a fantastic job with these funds and things, but there's a practice that more than one person has a login. Is that something you'd be able to, um, whether Gina or myself has it? Um, actually, Margaret has it. Oh, well, I'm sure. No, does, does, she do our, does she do our annual reporting? No, she, it's just a name only. She's so you do our She's name her name. Yeah, I did everything. Yeah, okay. Um, but it, I don't. And, and I can find out how to do it. They said the, the, the main contact person then should designate. They have roles, you know, they have three right. names for three different roles. It's probably overkill for the amount of funds we have and the simplicity with which we're going to use them. But we should probably at least have Gina, um, you and Gina, or you and me and Gina, or just in case somebody gets hit by a bus or. Mm -hmm. And can you try a few? Don't get hit by a bus. Try not to. Okay. Don't, fall, don't fall off the bicycle. So the, the reporter is, oh, is Margaret, yeah. and in, 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 in name, the reporter is Margaret. Well, she might be the administrator, and I might be the executor, or oh, vice versa. But, but you both yeah. have. Or different names. And, and, and what they said is they, they don't really well, want to. But I'm the one who is authorized to enter the data and submit the report. And I, I don't know what she's authorized to do, except for she has to be there. When you do it? No, she has to be on the system, she has to be in the system, or else we can't do what we need to do. We can't make the report. But she doesn't have a function. And there was a reporting on July, on April 30th, right? Was she there for that? No. And you, and you did that reporting? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've, I've done them all since we, since yeah. we started. Yeah, so I guess I'd, I, for my own purposes, I'd like to see the process, but what are you saying? If we need to make some other usernames, Margaret has to do it, or now is it? No, I, I don't know how it's done, but okay, I don't I'll think Margaret has to do it. Can, can I do my research and bring, bring you back um, very explicit steps sure. next time? So, so I, I just want to, and that, brings me to, um, if we're going to obligate the funds, we need to be on the same page of how they are going to be obligated. And we're, we're talking about 130,000, 140,000. 130, 129 something. So, um, and you know, it's right now it's, we have a resolution on the books from March 22. 
But we might want to think about that. Since I don't know the deadline yet, which I'll probably find out when I do this whole webinar. You know, obviously our firefighters, um, I had brought up the thing about supporting partially the, what the YSBC is going to come ask us. But also I'm starting to think of other things such as um, if we need training for the physical officer for, um, I mean, of visiting or any things that you might have had concerns about that extra costs that were in the general fund. So it could be that it's very simple. We just put it all in the fire fund, but I don't get a sense that we, we ever even discuss it. So we did have a public, uh, I don't know, technically it was a hearing, but a public input session, and I believe in my desk I have the, uh, uh, written. Yeah, but I, I don't, I'm, I'm not sure when I was there, I'm not sure that held any, um, okay. No, it's not really I don't normal, know. it just, that or, there was or the, or that, or that, yeah. Yeah, okay. I, I didn't know that we were any, any longer had those types of ideas like... We don't have to follow, I'm just okay. saying there, right, this is not a brand new topic. True. I mean, there, there's, there's a lot of things going on the surface. We, as a young candidate, me, me and Chris disagreed and then I came to see his side, you know, the high hopes so that all this stimulus money could help affordable housing or whatever. And I think it came to see Chris's point of view that we really need a lot of it for our own fire department and then, but there might be other things, so. Anyway, we should have a discussion of how we want to obligate these funds, use them, but also know the process so we don't do any slip ups in so are there lose any, money by doing the process wrong. Are there any deadlines between now and December 31st? I don't know. I mean, it was on April 30th. I think there's a recording deadline. I don't know why it's so soon following April, because it didn't seem like I was having to do that, but I think it said July 31st. We had to make some check-in. Oh. Like the, like the yeah. Well, I'll take the. I'll go ahead and take this webinar this week and, and see what I can find out. Because there's two categories: one, one, one for large, complicated organizations, one, one for simple people like us. And we, sometimes we don't have to do all those things. Right. All right. I just want to get that on the plates. Think about it. Gather information and come back to it. Well, we may end up having you know multiple conversations about. The ARPA funds, which is a good idea. Yeah, so we're so we've ex explored every avenue and are on the same page with what we decide. I mean, we've had you know we've had two years to date. Well, we do have something on paper now. Like if we did nothing else, then it's then it's going to the fire station and to um, yeah. Altera. Well, yeah, but and, and what's this? It, it's it is a thing on paper. Yeah, Alta Fiber. Oh. Is that the film on the fiber? The, the, the um, broad, broadband that I had mentioned. Mm -hmm. So that's the end of new business. And I had put YSDC, Development Corporation, under old business. Uh, but let's roll that over to the next meeting when I expect Corey Van Oster will be here and we can uh, discuss uh, further whether... And you, you had a um, request, as I recall, information about what the council is doing. Yeah, as part they're, of they're deciding that tonight. Okay. At least that's on their agenda, so we won't have that information until next, our next meeting. That is, I was interested in proportional, uh, what proportion of the 50 or 60,000 was being requested. Did it make sense for us to be paying? So, West DC next meeting. Are there other topics for this business meeting? 
I have none. I move that we adjourn. I declare this meeting adjourned. Uh -huh.